I have failed the OSCP exam, and then I passed. So we have a lot to talk about. First of all, thanks to Wonderghost for the amazing interview you just saw, and secondly, as you might have already seen, I was not applying that much for a while. And as she secure said, I must not apologize for that because not everything is related to InfoSec, but in my case, it was. When I was not uploading videos, I was doing my best to prepare for the OSCP exam. Now let me give you more context about the whole course and environment and exam, uh, without me of course spoiling anything. So the course is called 2300 Advanced Evasion Techniques and Breaching Defenses and the certification is called OSEP or Offensive Security Experience Penetration Tester which comes with the, with the course. The whole course, as the name suggests, is concentrated on evading different security mechanisms such as web proxies, antiviruses, app walkers and more. The exam itself consists of simulating real pen testing. You are up against a network with several exposed interfaces, let's call it IP addresses, you need to bridge the network and water remove until you become domain admin. The exam itself is 72 hours, which means you have 48 hours for testing and another 24 for writing the report. I have failed my first exam attempt and there's no one else to blame but myself. I need that people need to carry out more responsibilities and when something goes wrong they need to admit that it's because of their fault and do their best to move and that thing to never happen again. Of course I can give you some reasons why that happened but in the end of the day they do not really matter because I failed. Yeah, I use that as a fuel to help me be more motivated and instead of me going in complaint mode I decided to take more responsibility, try harder and get the exam. Now, the point was that at, at the end of my first exam, my lap time from the OSCP labs ended, so I needed to either purchase another month or seek for different kind of, of, of alternatives. I stumbled upon that lab from product from Hackerbox called Cybernetics, and to be honest, it's, it, it rocks. It's solid, it's really close to the OSCP since it covers let's say similar active directive exploitation paths you need to do heavy versions here and it's a perfect candidate for doing additional practice with hack the box so what i can recommend guys is be before you jump into the oscp try yourself to do as much machines from here or you can do as as i did if you don't feel prepared at the end of your lab time you can jump into cybernetics to have more time of testing your things about my second exam, I felt better prepared about. So, when uh, so so there's a thing when it comes to exams, they are trying to mimic real pen test environment, but they could never be as real as real pen test environment. The point of the exam is to show and test different kind of skill set that you need to be relevant when it comes to real pen test engagements. That's why they need to build up a lot of stuff that is vulnerable one particular way and leaving a lot of rabbit holes during that. Now some guys may say that rabbit holes are not a good thing but I personally believe that they are I can say the learning book because when you go through stuff and you stumble across a lot of rabbit holes you need to be able to identify which can be exploited and which can lead to nowhere. Now you may ask, well, why that's important and I can respond, well, because when you're doing pen test and let's say you see a potential rabbit hole, the pen test is limited, just like the exam. Let's say you have one week for doing internal AD stuff or two weeks, doesn't really matter. And if you find a rabbit hole, you can spend days on that rabbit hole without finding more findings. That can result in worse report, that can result in, in bad reputation for you and your company, which can result into bad stuff. So I think that the rabbit holes are generally good. Of course, they are super frustrating, but that's how the things in InfoSec are. So can I recommend the course to you guys? And my answer is it depends. It depends on what you really want. As I said before, the OSCP is based on active directory attacks. So you are mainly focusing internal pen testing, you are mainly focused in AV evasion, app evasion, 
that kind of stuff so maybe if you're like a web guy you need you have to you have more focus doing web and or maybe developing web exploits or i'm not sure maybe different kind of let's say specter of pen testing maybe that course is not good for you now the next thing i can say is that you need the particular skills of development background before you jump into the course that means it's gonna be good if you have some time developing c sharp in powershell or in any language in general because i believe that if you learn one, one language well pardon if you learn how to code the language is just doesn't really matter for you because if you have that algorithmical mind and thinking you can solve different problems the same way with different languages so you need to develop that kind of thinking and if you don't have it for the oscp you're gonna struggle because most of the heavy version techniques are based on custom code and of course they explain how the code works but in order for you to get it you need the solid ground of coding background so before having coding experience before having active directory experience I am not really encouraging you to take the course, but if on the other side you have a, a thing or two in the Active Directory, you have a little bit of coding background, doesn't really matter the language, but preferably to be C Sharp or PowerShell. If you have this type of stuff and you want to and you want to just move on into let's say internal and red teaming stuff, then this course is really for you and it's gonna teach you a lot. Now let's talk about the channel. First of all guys, I am super thankful for every one of you because we are super close to 2k subs which means a lot for me. This keeps me motivated even more from the OSCP exam which is gonna keep me motivated to continue pushing videos here. The second announcement I wanna make is about Patreon. I have created a Patreon account allowing you guys to support my work while I am continually pushing videos here on YouTube for free. The idea of the Patreon is just for supporting my work. Now, in the future, let's hope no more strikes appear. But in case a strike appear, we're gonna split the content into different kind of platforms, and maybe we can use Patreon for personalized and more specialized content there. For now, it's just for supporting my work. So I would highly appreciate any one of you going there. With that being said, thank you everyone for watching. Of course, if you have any questions or something to add up, the comment section is yours and also make sure to join my Discord server. There we constantly share information, experience, knowledge about different kind of topics, allowing us to become better and better professionals each day. So don't miss out, link in the description and see you there.